Hi, my name's Owen. I study electronic and electrical engineering, and I'm going to be showing you around today. This is the Spark Jones building where I have most of my lectures and practicals in the workshops and labs. Some of the student support services are also based in here. This is the electronics lab which I have practicals in to build and test circuits. The technicians are also based in here and they help with everything from technical support to help with making parts and components for my individual projects. This is the power lab which I have had practicals in for my electrical power and machines module. And this is the Embedded Systems Lab. All the stations have software for simulation, design and programming microcontrollers. I worked in here when I wrote the code to simulate a burglar alarm for an Embedded Systems module in my second year. This is one of the lecture theatres which I have for electrical principles, where we study the physics of electricity. This corridor has most of the school and computing and engineering support services on, which you can visit any time. The guidance team are on hand to help with academic support from report writing to revision techniques or help with specific topics like maths. They look over your draft assignments before you submit them and give you tips on how to improve. All you need to do is email them to book a one-to-one -one session. A student support officer are also here who can help with everything from timetable questions to helping you find the right person to speak to. They're often my first port of call when I need help with anything. Thinking about doing a placement as part of your course, the placement team will come into your lectures in your second year to tell you about the process to find a placement, but they'll also help you with CV writing, helping you get a really good covering letter, application forms, and they'll even do a mock interview with you to help calm your nerves, which helped me with my placement at GSPK, a circuit board manufacturer. Once you're on your placement year, they will stay in touch with you to make sure you're okay. The rest of my lectures and tutorials are in here, the Hazlitt building, which is next door to the Spark Jones building. It's another converted mill. This is the design studio, which is great for working on group projects. I come in here to work on one of my group projects, designing a biometric contactless card as part of my enterprise module. The space is split into three main parts. It has an area which is used for teaching, a computer area, which I use for CAD, and the final space is a lab. This is Team Hawk's workshop. Team Hawk is a national competition run by the accrediting body, the IMACE. The challenge is to create an unmanned aircraft aerial system that can carry a load and navigate different obstacles. The 3D printers are in here as the team can make parts for their drone, but any student can come in and use the 3D printers. This is where our HUD rail team practice their IMEC E railway challenge. They work on the mini locomotive in the lab and then bring it out here to test on this track. They have to design and build a mini locomotive to a strict set of rules and detailed technical specifications before competing. This is the automotive lab. If you take part in Formula Student, the IMEC E challenge is to design and build a single seat race car to compete against other universities. You'll spend a lot of time in this lab. We have the engine test cells over there, and again, you can use the expertise of the technicians to help you manufacture different parts. And that's the end of the tour. I hope you found it useful.